Hey guys, this is Dave here, back with another video. So, as you can see, we've got Streamlabs open, it's me on the dinosaur, and today for you, I have a wonderful theme that I'm going to be sharing and we're giving away for free. Um, links will be in the description, probably to a Google Drive link or DeviantArt, wherever the case may be. But, yes, as you can see, it's Windows 95. This is my sort of classic Windows um, theme for OBS slash Streamlabs OBS, depending on, obviously, what you use. I prefer Slobs because it has all of the theme integration and everything built in and including, like, the chat log and such. But, personal preference. So, for today's video, as I say, we're going to be going over the features of this theme and, you know, just go a little over it. So, you can see here we've got the sort of starting soon screen, which is basically just a ripped video of the Windows 98 loading screen, just on loop. Um, we've got the, what would you call it, Overwatch looking style, oh, what do they call it now? friend meter, you know, subscribe account thing, and a couple of different little widgets that are from the widget store, or the theme store. Um, switching over from that, we go to our game screen, as you can see the lovely little loading logo and such, and you get the, you get the full shebang now. So, with that, as I say, it's just a transition, so what it is, is I've named it login, it's a stinger transition and when we go to edit it it basically just loads up a video file basically which I edited in Photoshop so essentially we took a standard gif of the Windows what would you call it now the Windows login screen which I will just bring up on screen now so if we go to our is it boxes I can't remember transition nope not that one. Get rid of that folder. Is it loading screen? It's one of these folders anyway. But the idea is, as I say, oh, oh come on. Where am I? Where have I put it then? Sorry about this, guys. I'm going to cut this out of the video. Um, probably not. I don't know. Transition. Here we go. No. Is it under widgets? No. BG. No. Never mind. The whole idea is we've got a we've got a login screen. Oh no, I know where I put it. I put it under templates. So we've got the login sort of file here. So it looks like that. Put it in Photoshop. Added my own little animation to show it saying Dave. So we'll go for it again. And you'll hear the Windows sort of login sound. So this is Dave. Put the password in. Cool. And that's again just the video merged with the sort of loading background. So going back to here, we've got the little boxes. As I say, a lot, all of this will be in the description. We've got here the it's basically a border box with invisible sort of transparent background. Ignore the fact that that's like over over the lines. I'm going to fix that. We've got a copy of Windows Media Player sort of running, but it's fake because it's basically copying the pretty much copying my nightbot screen so that's that um again another transparent box with a camera in it and another box just mainly for the little widgets now the cool thing is i've also added a couple of icons you can obviously add your own change your own and then you add a little bit of text underneath it just through obs itself just add a generic text box and i believe for the font i used it's Arial. i cannot remember for the life of me but then again what can you do We'll have a look, see at some point. And yeah, so that's mainly it. It kind of looks really cool. Looks very vintage and retro. We go to the um, BRB screen. So we've got this same sort of thing. A couple of different GIFs I've added into the download as well. So you've got a copy of the game ring in the background. You've got a copy of the media player a bit larger. Again, same with the friendship tray thing. The activity monitor. That's cool. You know, you've got large ones, so just basically things, no camera, that's why it's a BRB screen. And again, the DOS prompt, as you'll probably see when I go back to my templates, we've got a, we've got a basic DOS picture here, picture of DOS prompt, that I've, again, made my own little GIF on Photoshop with, so cool, beans, yes. Um, yeah, and finally we just got another screen, just for the video, so if you want to chill, chat, watch a bit of videos, you know, it's easy, it's calm, if you've got a game in the background, you know, you can keep that there. All of this is all, you know, customizable. I'm, I hold no rights to any of the, the Windows icons or logos and backgrounds. 
it's just a cool theme made in the style of an old sort of you know wallpaper and background so yeah i will put all that into the description i do hope you enjoy the theme you know obviously comment like share subscribe if you use the theme let me know send us the link to your twitch i'll probably follow you you know see how see how you like it and yeah as i say modify it edit it do what you want with it add many more things to it because there's a lot that you could do with this you know there's a lot of potential and yeah as i say enjoy thank you for watching bye do apologize there one last little thing i forgot to actually mention is the alert so just for sort of notification if you want to get say for example tested on a host so you can see it shows that and then obviously a kip kippy clippy gif comes up and yeah it's kind of cool same sound for all of them just generally because you know i couldn't find any other like audio that i wanted to use could use a couple of different ones but as i say that's all thanks for watching again bye bye